Welcome to this Tyrannus quick tip about managing model memories and EEPROM. I've had a couple of subscribers get themselves into a little bit of a mess with this, so I'm putting this video together to help all of you that are looking to do this to make sure that you don't lose any of the carefully set up models that you've already done on the radio. In this video we're going to be using our friend the OpenTX Companion and in here we're going to actually open the model memories on the radio but also look at how you can copy models across that may have been emailed to you, got them off a website or maybe you've just been playing inside OpenTX Companion 2.0 and created a model that you now want to copy across into the radio. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to actually start the radio up. We need to start it in USB mode, so we need to hold both of the trim tabs towards the center underneath the sticks, and we need to power it on. Then we need to plug the radio into the computer. USB connected appears on the screen of the Tyrannus, and we are good to go. Now in OpenTX Companion, what we're going to do is, first of all, before we do anything else, I'd always recommend that we back up the EEPROM. And think of the EEPROM as just the place that all the model memories are stored. So uh, down here at the side, you can see that we have read model settings from radio. We have things like write the backup to the radio, backup radio to file, and then we have the stuff for the firmware down here. I would always recommend before you start playing around with model memories in OpenTX Companion that you back up the current models that are in the radio. That way, if you do something that you regret, you can always go back. So if we click on this icon here that says backup radio to file, it'll start listening to the radio and then ask me where I want it to save. So I'm just going to pop it on my desktop and I'm going to call it something like Tyrannus Model Backup. And I'm going to hit save and that will then read all of the settings and models from the radio and save them onto a file on my desktop. There it is. So if I get stuck, I can get that back. So to actually look at the models that are already on the radio, we can just click this icon over here, which says read models and settings from radio. If we click on that, it'll read the same information back. It's just saved to the file, but this time it'll open it in a screen and we can start to play around with stuff. The danger can come is when you start with a brand new EEPROM setting like this and you start to create a new model. So let's create one here. We'll call it brand new model. We'll say it's a um, multi-rotor and we'll just select all of the defaults and finish. Now the danger is here, if I actually save this, write models and settings to radio, what I do is I wouldn't just add the new one that I created to the EEPROM and models that are already on the radio, I'm actually writing all of this information and all of this stuff back to the radio. So I'll overwrite what's currently there, including all of the things like the general settings for the radio. So you might have spent a ton of time setting this up, including doing things like carefully calibrating all of the radio sticks, and you're going to blow that all away if you save this. So let me show you how you do it. So we'll assume here that brand new model is one that we've spent the last two hours playing with, doing all of our mixes, setting it up, making sure the inputs and outputs and the DR and Expo and everything is set. So this is one we want to copy to our radio. So what we would do is we'd push that over to the side. We'd actually, again, read the models and settings from the radio to open that again. So on the left-hand side, we have the actual radio itself. On the right-hand side, we actually have this new model. Now what we can do, which is the really smart part, is we can click and hold the button and drag that model across and drop it into any model memory our heart desires and it will copy it across into the EEPROM copy from the radio. Now we can get rid of that. We'll discard it. And now if we went and save that back to the radio by clicking write models and settings to radio it will actually write all of the EEPROM settings that we've currently got set up and also the brand new model as well. So that's the trick. Always make sure that you are adding the bits and pieces 
to a copy of the EEPROM that you've got from the radio as it is now and then make the changes you want then write the whole thing back to the radio and my top tip is whenever you start out back up the radio to a file and then if you do something and manage to accidentally write the wrong EEPROM back to the radio and lose all of your original settings you have somewhere where you can go to try and recover it. So hopefully that will help those of you that are looking to do this and avoid you accidentally overwriting all your models. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.